So let's talk some baseball, because I got two games to talk about now, and two games are going to be talked about later. So now we're going to talk about the Cubs versus the Red Sox, which just ended, and the Cardinals and the Nationals, which was a continuation from last night's game, so we're going to talk about yesterday, but the rain had to come, so they finished that game up today. Now, what I want to mention first is, I had to watch the game in the kitchen, because like, I listen to the radio, so I can't watch TV, you know, see the TV, and I swear a mouse died in my kitchen. So I was trying to watch two baseball games at the same time, while smelling this awful stench, in my kitchen that wasn't fun at all but what was fun was watching this Cubs game so let's talk about the Cubs game first I guess since that's a great transition Marcus Stroman on the mound versus James Paston I feel like I kind of cursed James Paston because yesterday I mentioned I'm really excited to see him pitch he's having a resurgence he hasn't been good in like two years proceeded to give up six runs in the third inning um capped by a Cody Ballinger grand slam so that was great to see two home runs yesterday a grand salami today that was amazing to watch Cody Ballinger He's back. I I think he's back. Um, Marcus Stroman, another quality start. I think this is his 15, going up to 10 and 6, so getting his 10th win on the season. Great job going six innings with one run. Now, the run by the Red Sox scored it. It wasn't much, okay? They scored four, but one was a two run shot by Tristan Costas off of Julian Merriweather, and it was already like 10 2. No, I think that was 8 8 2 or something. 8 1 at the time, so that didn't mean much. And then one of those where like, you get people on base, and then uh, like you get ground outs or stuff like that. You get out productive outs, I guess, to score the run. Because Justin Kerner, Turner got a double, and I think it's like. Like a, well, not a sacrifice, but like a ground out and then, and then a, like a pop-up or something to drive him in. And then they scored their, their ever run that way too. Just little doinks and hits, which I'll talk about more in a little bit because that's where the National did. But Patrick Wisdom had a two-run shot. His first home run since May 28th. He'd been on the injured list and stuff like that. And I want to mention how the Cub broadcasters saying, take me out to the ball game. And it was some of the funniest stuff I've ever heard. They, they are not good singers. And that's why, that's why they broadcast baseball games and they're not professional pop singers. Um, So Cubs, good win. 10-4 tomorrow, having Cutter Crawford for the Red Sox versus Justin Steele for the Cubs. Another Cubs all-star starting pitcher. Let's see if he can get his 10th win as well. And um, so hopefully we'll talk about that again tomorrow. Now, Nationals and Cardinals. As I mentioned, this was a resumption from last night's game. So last night we played the first three innings. So our Newt Bar had a solo shot. Love me some fruit bars. Oh, Newt Bar. Same thing. And so he would he put the Cardinals at one nothing. Mars Michaels had three perfect innings and then the rain had to come. So then the uh then we resumed the game today in the third inning. And um hmm they brought out Andre Palante. And this was this was the fourth fifth inning something for that. And this it was so frustrating because the Cardinals could have won this game. So what happened was do I like three errors, okay? Let's see, Wilson Contreras threw the ball over Paul Goldschmidt's head, that's one error. Uh, what was it, C.J. Abrams or someone tried to steal second base, Contreras threw it in the center field, and then Arenado had an error as well, and then, like, they were, the, they were, they were stealing bases, there was a force out, uh, all kinds of, no one got a hit, that's the thing, but they scored three unrun runs on three errors on, like, two stolen bases, and it was just, it was just frustrating, and just little joints and hits and ground outs and stuff, but it's it scored the National three runs, or four runs, actually, so the Nationals, we're up four to one. They got the other one when Joey Manessas had an RBI single. But then Brendan Donovan comes in, saved the day, three run shot. We're tied at four. And then they the national do it again. They get someone on base with a walk or something. Hit a get a, a base hit or something like that. Drive in the run. They're up five four. But then Wilson Contreras redeeming himself after those two errors hits a solo shot. We're tied at five. And then we go into extra inning because it stayed tied. Because he hit that homer in the bottom of the eighth, I believe. So we're tied. Bottom, uh, no, no, that'd be the top of the tenth. Top of the tenth. Got, you know, Alex Call on second at the Ghost Runner. And this was just, just so bad. Like, you get a single. I forget who hit the single. Abram, maybe. And so now it's first and third. Rain Thomas with a joint single drives him in. El Demaro Vargas with a double play. That scores another run. Nationals win 7 5. Like, they can't even get proper hit to score runs. They did not have a home run in this game. They just won based off of ground outs and stolen bases and force outs and all, all kinds of weird plays. But very frustrating. But they have game two tonight. Steven Matz, which is an L versus Jake Irvin, which is a bigger L. So let's hope that the, the Cardinals can win today. And I particularly hope they win because my mom's birthday and she's a huge Cardinals fan. So uh, that, that'd be nice. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, this, this team's very frustrating. So, going to talk about the Cardinals and Nationals, and then also hopefully watching the Dodgers and the Mets tonight on ESPN. Have not covered a, a Dodgers-Mets game yet, so that should be pretty fun. So, yeah, I, I will talk to you later.